My name is Jamie McDonald. I am an attorney with McDonald Law Offices. Our firm represents individuals in consumer bankruptcy cases throughout the entire state of Arizona. Today I'm going to discuss with you credit card debt in the context of a Chapter 13 bankruptcy case. Most credit card debts are unsecured debts, meaning there's no collateral securing the obligation. Interest will not accrue on unsecured debts in your Chapter 13 plan. What you owe on the date of filing is what you owe. It will not continue to grow. Therefore, they are one of the last creditors to get paid out of the plan payment by the trustee. Whatever the trustee is unable to pay to your credit card debt through your Chapter 13 plan payments will be canceled at the end of your plan, meaning you will no longer be legally obligated to repay that debt. It will be discharged. I am often asked by my clients whether they are required to list all their credit cards in the Chapter 13 bankruptcy. My answer is always the same, yes. Federal law requires that you list all creditors in the bankruptcy schedules. You cannot pick and choose. All creditors must be listed. I'm also asked whether my client can keep a credit card during the Chapter 13 bankruptcy proceedings. No, you cannot. And this is the reason why. As soon as you file that bankruptcy, the credit card company is going to see it on your credit report and they are going to close that account whether it's still open or not. In addition, if the creditor does not close the account, you cannot prefer that creditor over another. You cannot continue to pay on that credit card debt at the expense of your other creditors, your medical creditors, your house, your vehicle, uh, other credit cards, and so on. You cannot prefer one over another. They all have to be treated in the same class equally. I have sometimes asked about paying off a credit card debt prior to filing. Well, it depends. If you pay a certain amount to a creditor within 90 days of the filing of your bankruptcy, that payment may be considered a preference. If the payment is considered a preference payment, the court-appointed trustee will be authorized to bring an action against that creditor to recover those funds, bring them back into the estate, and then the trustee will distribute those funds to your creditors evenly through your plan. Even if the payment is not considered a preference payment, however, most credit card companies close the account upon the filing of the bankruptcy. So why would you pay something off in advance when it's going to be closed, the account's going to be closed anyway? You will not have the benefit of using that account again. Why pay it off? Simply include it in your bankruptcy. It will be discharged. You'll be free of that debt. If you have any questions regarding credit card debt in Chapter 13 bankruptcy, please give me a call at 480-968-3100.